What's going on everybody? Welcome back. Thank you for watching and happy 4th of July. Yes, it is that time of year once again where we celebrate our independence here in the United States with pew pews and other things that go boom like these. And by the way, I am filming this video on the 4th of July. Obviously you guys aren't going to see it for a few days after, but with freedom comes responsibility. And there's a great quote, I believe it was Tommy J that said, those who would give up essential liberty to purchase a little temporary safety deserve neither liberty nor safety. And it's one that I absolutely agree with. And since the 4th of July is here, we're going to do a science experiment on an accident that you hear about way too often, every year as a matter of fact, and it involves these little guys right here. So last year we did the human hand video and I would say that's probably the most common firework related injury is to the hand. But the human face or head has to be in a close second place. People stand over stuff they shouldn't be standing over and just get smoked right in the face. It happens all the time. So for this video we are using a ballistic dummy lab human head. We've done tons of videos on these things. Most of you have probably seen them um, but they're basically just designed to anatomically resemble a real human head and you can see how realistic that thing looks. Now obviously it's just ballistics gel and you know it's all fake so it's not real or graphic in any way but it is as close as you can get to the real thing so this ought to be good. All right here's a scenario you lean down to light the wick it's faulty for whatever reason and goes off much quicker than you expected and you take it straight to the face. Sounds like a bad day so here's our setup you can see we have our human head screwed into that wooden stand kind of at an angle looking down as you would be and then a tube probably two feet underneath it. The gel is starting to melt on the top and on the back because it's so hot out here but the front which is what we're focused on is still perfectly fine. And just a reminder this is purely a safety demonstration and I am going to do this very safely. I'm not going to be anywhere near this thing when the boom actually happens. Plus I've got my red white and blue cowboy hat on which makes me invincible. All right, we're gonna start with the bottle rocket, see what this does, and then we'll work our way up from there. This is called the Sonic Boom, and it's a big old bottle rocket. This one probably ain't gonna do much, but. Well, that one completely missed the head, which I thought it probably would. It's kind of hard to angle those sticks pointing straight up, but you can see, even though it missed, it still burnt the crap out of that head and it might have skimmed it, I'm not really sure, uh, but either way, not a direct hit and still did some damage. All right, we're gonna try this one one more time and see if we can actually hit the head. I moved the tube out a little bit so we can kind of angle it back that way. Looks like it went right up his nose. It almost looks like it hit him right in the nostril. You can see that black mark above his lip and then the left nostril is jet black as well. We also have some burns on the cheek and I imagine that would probably hurt and burn quite a bit but no broken bones. Keep in mind on a real human head, you have eyeballs and nostrils and soft spots that aren't on these, so it wouldn't feel good. All right, first mortar. This is the Mad Hornet Whistling Shell. Kind of a little guy, but might do some damage. Let's see. was a direct hit. So one thing to keep in mind is the most damage would probably happen on the second explosion, which we are going to do before the end of the video. But what we're seeing right now is just the initial launch when it comes out of the tube, which is most likely what would happen in real life. And we definitely have some damage to our human head. So that one smoked him right in the middle of the forehead. And you can see the big mark that it left. I'm not sure if it broke the bone or just put a big dent in it, but either way, uh, definitely some damage and then we have a cut in the ballistics gel also so not a good day for this guy. So again just the initial launch coming out of the tube 
did quite a bit of damage, as you saw. That's a pretty heavy ball shooting out of there pretty quick. So let's step it up and see if we can do even more damage. All right, well, I was gonna try some of these, and yes, this is a firework, not a sex toy, but it's just five of the exact same thing. So the initial launch is not gonna be any harder than the rest of them that we've tried. So I might skip that and go straight to this. Now, this is the Mississippi Gambler, and it is by far the biggest and most powerful mortar that I've personally ever seen. I'm sure there's bigger ones out there, uh, but this is the most powerful one I have. So it should do quite a bit of damage. Let's see. Well, that would be a bad day. <laughs> And that right there, kids, is why I'm making this video as a public safety announcement, so we can learn to respect this stuff, because that was freaking brutal. So I have the head set up on our two by four here because the initial impact blew it off the neck. <laughs> now, would that happen in real life? Probably not, but it still shows you just how hard that impact was, and you can see where it hit him, right in the eyeball, and completely broke every single bone in there. And then of course we have some pretty bad burns on the face as well. So, wow, that was even more dramatic than I was expecting. I knew how powerful these mortars were, um, but I don't know if I expected it to do quite that much damage. And again, I wanna remind everyone, this is not real in any way, it's just ballistic gel, and this video is for scientific purposes only, just to show you guys why you should be very careful when using this kind of stuff. So now there's only one thing left to try. All right, well, I told you guys earlier in the video that we were gonna make this happen. So next up, we have worst case scenario. Up to this point, we've just seen the initial launch and how much damage that does. But what if somehow one of these were to get stuck to your body and the second explosion goes off? We're gonna find out. So to make this happen, I have basically just duct taped everything down and I'm hoping that it stays put so we can get a definitive answer. All right, we're just gonna send it like an American. By the way, if you're wondering why this video looks or sounds different, I am using a cheaper camera for this video because I didn't want to put my expensive one in harm's way. But I would say that was probably the result we all expected. So you can see where it was at, first of all. Uh, there's really nothing left there. And then over here, we have the skull. And there are breaks and fractures all over that thing. So safe to say it did quite a bit more damage, and then it also painted our sand hill red. <laughs> and I just realized that it blew our top row of teeth and this part of our face about 15 feet away from the rest of it. And it looks like that is our bottom row of teeth. So, of course, my slow-mo camera didn't work and failed to capture probably the coolest part of the entire video. So hopefully the other cameras did because that was awesome. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for me today. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm sure most of you were well aware before this video that this type of stuff can be dangerous, but I thought I would make a little PSA right around the 4th of July just to kind of remind everyone to be safe and responsible when playing with this kind of stuff because, of course, it can be dangerous, and we hear about these stories every year, and it's way too often, in my opinion. And again, the 4th of July has passed by the time you're seeing this video, so I hope you all had a safe, happy, exciting 4th of July this year. If you did anything cool, let me know down in the comments below. I'd be glad to hear from you guys as always. If you liked the video, let me know down there as well and hit that like button for me, guys. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time.